All right, we're back at it. Episode 12. Hopefully, <laughs> you guys can hear me better. Yeah. Let's see. Oxygen looking good. Yep, gases. The sink successfully executed. Let's see what we're checking out here. Yeah, our new power station in the works. Yeah, that's going to get hot. Mhm. Mm We're going to need to put all our coal in that uh, storage container. Cycle 31. Okay. 63,000 calories. Nice. Yep. Nice showers. Mmm. I, I always have to secure the water next to oxygen. The water is one of the most important parts. So I like to get them, create a basin, make floors and walls around them because I've had it where many a times I didn't realize it was a piece of sand and they dug underneath it. Then bloom lost the whole water source spilling through the base. You don't want that. One more gristle berry. Hopefully they can hold their breath and do that work down there. <laughs> it won't be too much longer. Okay. Temperatures are still good. We still have room to grow before we have to put insulated walls to keep you out that heat. Heat is another thing that a killer base. You can have a nice base and then nowhere to cool down, no way to cool down. So the best thing is to prevent the heat before it gets hot because creating ice, dealing with ice, making some kind of an air conditioning system is too resource intensive. It's not worth it. It's better to prevent with temperature for sure. For sure. door mm -hmm. 
We gotta get rid of the polluted water in the bathroom from the old days, the outhouses. So we need somewhere to put it. Get rid of that little plant. And then boom, place a spout. And then they could dump out the poopy water and get those um, bottles in the bathroom out of there because they're creating gas, polluted gas. All right. I think this space down here, I'm going to want to use it as a additional carbon sink. So I'm going to have to move the water even further down, right? Let's see, yeah, polluted water, polluted gas in the bathroom. It's gonna keep coming out of those bottles. We gotta get rid of them. gotta secure your water supply you don't want craziness falling into it made secure this area trying to figure out if I can get the 96 tiles needed to make a, a critter home. Ninety-six is the max. So you're gonna be able to hold eight critters. Critter needs like 12 tiles of space. So your, your enclosure needs to be at least 96 and 96 is the max. Anything more than that, it won't be considered a, um, a critter stable, right? So that means the most you can uh, have is eight critters at a time. But it requires a triage, a table, a bathroom. The apothecary um, station, I don't think it's required, but you might as well throw it in there. We need to feed them, we need to take care of them. burrow into the ground. They are a great food source for meat. 
but also they eat dirt not dirt sedimentary rock and sandstone and they poop out coal so it's like win-win grow them kill them get the meat and collect the coal for your uh power station below I'm wondering should I just move to the ladder, but nah. I'm gonna need to make those vents go all the way down. All of the designs and the layouts airflow is always in my the back of my mind like how is the carbon gonna fall how can I help it fall easily incubators right there for the critters to expedite the growth any egg that they lay stick it in the incubator instead of it taking like 12 cycles it'll take like half that but it requires power so we definitely need to get the coal going our hospital kitchen mess hall all right they dug up as much as they can collect that bristle berry ah the bathroom floors are clean see so we made that spout in the polluted water area and it gave them a place to move the polluted bottles from the outhouses. Yeah. Got rid of it. Still some polluted water. What we do with the dirt that's emitting gases we submerge it, we put storage containers in the water and we just regulate that to polluted dirt, slime, rotten food. And so they deposit it in there, it doesn't affect the water, it doesn't pollute the water, but it keeps those items from emitting the gas into the air. Slime lung is what you get from the polluted gas, and it's just a headache. Slows down your dupes. Look at that. There were two eggs sitting in there. We need incubators for those eggs. Those eggs, they need to be in a, a safe environment because 
after a while they they don't become they become unviable and then they crack and then you can't do anything but like cook with them i think i need to move that over one but what it is is instead of them having to run back and forth through the whole size of the place all of the critters will just be right in that spot but they'll get the uh, they won't be cluttered or moody because it's still considered the full room but as far as maintaining managing and dealing with uh, the critters they'll be happy oh the core is, is pretty bad we got to get green more because when they move around in the red area it lowers their mood it makes them sadder so we need some paintings we need some statues we need to get the garbage up off the floor all of these things uh decrease the moral of the dupes our floors are pretty clean and mealwood is just a mealwood is just an ugly plant so you got to do like some wallpaper and some paintings or something supply is the most needed then being able to carry more is like a godsend it's the best like sleeper perk apart from whatever they're specializing in every dupe needs at least the first digging the first building and both of the carry that's across the board you might not give it to them right away but eventually they're going to need it Devin is stinky. What you gotta give him? Let's see. Yeah, we saw the decor, and we need our artist to become a master because it's a waste of time having them do paintings and carvings, and their skills are down. So I don't even do it. I, I focus more on keeping things clean and keeping ugly wires out of their face building them within the walls yeah. three more eggs won't hurt we only have one rancher at the moment we need all hands on deck with that skill stinky's the only one let's see is he even ranching he is but barely let's this raises priority because he he hasn't been wrangling the hatches that are out free I need him to go and pick them up and put them in the ranch above the farm he might be on lunch he might be on his break but They're sneezing from slime lung. They're freezing from hypothermia, being in the water, but a warm shower will fix that. Water basin is looking pretty good. Yeah, we definitely need to block out that heat. We don't want it. Dragon Ball Z. 
hopefully we'll get that power station going.